Huh. Look at that. It's nine and a half. It may actually work. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Warwick and you're watching Gas Tax. Today is somewhat exciting day. Um, you see, I'm really planning to get into the car and racing community and I'm starting that with the R32 build and getting into ice racing. Uh, ice racing, I live in Chicago-ish area. Ice racing is all the way up Green Bay, past Green Bay. So it's about a three hour drive, four hour drive. And what happens if I drive the R32 up there and it breaks? Big pain in the, in the ass, if you will. To find someone on a weekend, on a Sunday, if it races on, or races on a Sunday, and get a trailer or get the car fixed and bring it all the way down. So what I am planning on doing is buying a car trailer. That way, when I go to Road America in the R32, uh, if I go ice racing, I just take my truck, hook it up to the back, and if anything happens, I have a way to get home and I have a, a backup plan. Obviously, I would love to just drive the car there, but logistically, it's a race car. I'm building it to do some racing, so things are gonna happen. So, right now, I'm off to Deerfield to check out a car trailer. I've been looking at car trailers for quite some time now, uh, enclosed, open, but mainly I needed aluminum because I'll be towing oh, aluminum. Aluminium. I don't even know how I used to say it, but it's aluminum now. Um, aluminium, that's how I used to say it. Weird. Anyways, mainly I was looking at aluminum because I'll be towing in winter going to these ice races. And dealing with a rusty trailer is not something I want to do. And aluminum trailers really hold their value. So if I get out of the sport, I do believe I'll be able to sell it for basically what I bought it for. But I found one that's being used for racing and it has electronic brakes, winch and a tire rack. The tire rack was very important to me because now I've got four sets of tires already for the R32. Ridiculous, I know, but I need some way to store those as well. And I didn't want to put spiky tires into the back of my truck or even into the back of the R32 because it might damage whatever's there on the vibration driving, you know, four to six hours in the car. So. Let's head to Deerfield. Well, first, let's head to the bank, get some money, and go check this trailer out. A few moments later. Well, guys, here it is. My new race trailer. Um, unfortunately, the wheel wells don't come off, but that is what it is. Uh, it is equipped with a tire rack. That was A, what I was looking for. Uh, the, I guess the splash guard or the chip guard another thing I was looking for uh, aluminum uh, is another thing I was looking for ideally I want uh, the wheel wells that come off but we'll see what I can do there but anyways let's run home and I can go over the trailer more in detail when I get home all right guys well we're back home and let's check out the trailer so jumping into the tech specs right here uh, max load capacity is 5820 so that's perfect for me um, Gross vehicle weight is 7,000. Each axle is 3,500. Uh, so, we got a dual axle trailer. Came with a spare. Perfect. I love that. Um, it's got electronic brakes. It's a 5 and 5 16th ball. Uh, nice place for the, the ramps. Ideally, I would have had them, or oh, like the trailer that slid out the back, but beggars can't be choosers. Um, I love this rack right here. Perfect for the tires. Perfect for uh, all the salt when I'm towing the R32. Uh, the guy was nice enough to leave me his gas cans. That's nice. What else? What else? Uh, so yeah, electronic brakes is great. First time I've actually towed something with electronic brakes behind my truck, which has a built-in electronic brake controller. Uh, <clears throat> here is the winch and the winch control box. It's kind of ghetto rig hooked up there, but it comes with a remote or a wireless remote, a hardwired remote or a wireless remote. Um, and basically, here's the connection here. I need to figure out, it came with a wire. I can either hardwire it to the truck, run some uh, 
battery wires from the the battery here or the alternator or somewhere back here to uh, run the winch or just get a separate battery and, and mount it right here with the tender or for the truck I probably won't wire the truck um, mainly because it's a lease don't want to mess with it and I don't think I'll ever actually well now that I say that I'll probably need it I don't think I'll need the winch but it's much easier to just carry a battery or a jumper pack or uh, if I have to have a, a truck or a car pull up next to it and, and use the winch but this is it I think it's gonna make my life a lot easier unfortunately the wheel wells don't come off um, so maybe I can figure out how to do that but let's quickly measure the wheel wells here they are eight inches so I definitely don't think the doors on the R8 are eight inches this is mainly for uh, the R32 but huh. look at that it's nine and a half it may actually work the easy way that I was just gonna solve the problem well it it might not work because the back of the R8 will be down on this dovetail I was just gonna put uh, you know a block or two down and then it would lift the car up an inch or two which should clear the wheel wells so other than that I think that's really the only negative for me is that the wheel wells aren't removable everything else it has spare tire it's aluminum uh, the tire rack, tire rack's a major thing. Oh, what they also do, which is <laughs> great uh, if you don't have a truck, is they put a, a two inch receiver here so you can put your bicycle rack here. Not like I ride a bicycle, but maybe one day. So when you go to these meets and these track events, uh, you can actually take a mode of transport. Uh, I do have a truck, so, but that's, that's neat. The guy that had this before me had a, a SUV, so it's nice to, uh, have that on there so yeah this is uh it's a 2015 um r and r trailer all the lights work except for this one so we just gotta check it's probably a wire uh it's normally not the bulb it's probably the wire is broken but i think this is a solid investment uh if i ever need to sell it i probably can get my money back or you know 80 percent of it back and at that point if i get 80 percent back and i use it 20 times i really got my money back because i would have um had to rent it there is one guy that rents trailers about 35 minutes from me uh and he charges 200 dollars a day uh so this is worth it and yeah so thanks again for tuning in um if you don't know who i am my name's warwick and you're watching gas tax and on this channel uh currently i'm building my 2004 r32 my dream car i'm actually making it ice race ready for this coming winter it's december 4th now uh so i don't have much more time to get that done but i did do some black friday shopping and i have all the parts so now it's assembly time on that i also have a 2018 r8 rws um this is my wife's dream car don't get me wrong i love the hell out of it uh <laughs> and this is obviously it's 10 times better than that but there's some some special part of my heart for that car so i do or well, i have tracked this car at road america once i plan on doing it a bit more uh that one is going to be my designated uh track car per se much cheaper if i crash that or damage that um but the reason i also bought the trailer is if I track this or that and something goes wrong, the closest track from me or to me is two hours away. I don't want to pay a tow truck driver or, or hassle on a Sunday trying to find a tow truck driver to come pick me up. I can just, uh, I have a truck, I may as well have a trailer. So, thanks again for watching. Uh, if you have any questions about the trailer, about me, about the channel, uh, let me know in the comments below. Until next time, I'll see you then.